This is yet another episode on the extremely broken total transformation bug that's been taken over the game in like the last week. Check out the first couple videos that I showcased of this bug if you missed it. But today there's even more discoveries that I didn't cover in those ones uh, that get even crazier and wackier. So stay tuned if you want to see uh, even more about what this bug has to offer. A majority of this footage has been taken from my Twitch stream. So the following will be a compilation of all the things that I ended up working with a lot of attempts that didn't work or weren't that interesting excluded. So that said, let's jump right into it. This is going to involve chain linking. So let's first transform dart monkeys. And then we're going to link wizards to the dart monkeys. Now, this is just a theory, but I did do some testing. And I swear, if you put the transformation closer to the tower that you want to link to, that'll be, that'll be more likely to get the link. Like, let's just see again. Look, a link. Again, I can't confirm it, but based on the, like, the dozen times I tried it, it seems like close is the way. Uh, you guys probably already seen this. Use Wizard Phoenix, use Sniper, and then when the ability times out, you basically get infinite Cyber Crates for the rest of time. So, this is pretty OP, but what if I told, what if I told you it could be even more insane? That's why I have a, ch a chain link to a Dark Monkey, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Apparently, if you fan club plus Wizard Phoenix, you can get this infinite ability thing to stack for even more abilities. Watch this. Fan club. All of a sudden, more crates. And now watch what happens if I do the combo. A fan club and plasma. <laughs> yep. I don't think I've seen this before. <laughs> That's right, just a casual, like, 300,000... Money per second. And then now that it's off, it's back to normal. This is basically how fast Jeff Bezos' bank account is increasing. In real life, every second. Yeah, we basically get $4 million, $5 million, every single combo of this. Now, let me try one more thing. Let me see if this is true. I heard somebody say that if you attack speed buff, like with Overclock and uh, Homeland, you can get an even uh, more insane boost. Alright, I'm ultra boosting the sniper it. That, it, that's already shooting more crates, right? Okay, so it might be the tank speed of the sniper then. Yep, it's confirmed. It's not the uh, it's not the Dark Monkey boost. It's the sniper. Let's see how much damage we get now. Everything. Starting at 20 million. Ending off at... Interesting. It, it feels like it only works for the... Uh, well, the base. Before using the abilities. There's like a cap on the attack speed. Or rather, I guess it doesn't boost it when you use the uh, fan clubs. All right, Chinook. Yep, we got a chain link. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's working every time the closest monkey is the tower you want to link it to. We have two abilities with the Chinook here. Well, let's try both. Money, Marine, timeout. Nothing. Doesn't work. If you thought Perma Spikes from OP, I wonder if it spawns like 100 times more spikes with this combo. I think our game is going to die, but it's worth the, uh, worth the risk. All right, are we ready? Let's do it. That feels like more spikes. I guess the only way to try out or to find out is to send out around 200. Yep, just a casual 20,000 damage per second. I want to say it's working. Yeah, I want to say this is working for sure. Definitely faster. All right, anything? Yep, we got a link. Again, it's working every single time. It's definitely close. Preemptive strike sounds fun. Let's try it. I need to send it on Wolf Class Balloon to actually try this out. Let's do round 200. We should see constant first striking. One. Yep, it's working, it's working. Only one first strike every, like, three seconds, though, so it's not that interesting. Here's where it gets interesting, though. Fan club. And now we're talking. How about... Plasma fan club. Oh, my God. Rip. Round 200. Bring it. Round 400. Oh, my God. It's literally th 2 million. That's as much DPS as, like... The true Sun God bug. Obviously only a one target, but not even close. Round 600, guys. I assume since it didn't work on the Sniper, again, giving it tax buffs will, will only incre increase the uh, non-fan club uh, ability option. Also, we, we beat it. We didn't beat the ZMGs, but we popped. We broke through the bad layer. So heroes also work. I don't remember if I mentioned this before. You just have to keep bot for selling until you end up seeing a highlight. So let's get level 20, Quincy. I think I, you need to spawn a balloon so the, the ability works. So let's do the following. 
let me freeze this in place here. And you should see after time's out. Perma Quincy Arrows. Not bad, not bad. You want to make sure nothing gets past this bow? Just use Fan Club. Somehow we're only doing 40 DPS. Maybe just because it's a small target. Uh, Plus Fan Club. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's going to get past this bow now, right? Well, let's try uh, around 500 F pad. Uh, again. Will around 400 F pad, around 500 F pad, get past Quincy's bow? Well, I think he's doing everything he can to stop it in place. Only time can tell. No, it didn't even do a dent in it, somehow. It's probably better with weaker weaker balloons, but denser ones. So let's do it again. Here we go. 100 F pads on round 200 coming right up. This is definitely one of the better visual ones, I will say. Power-Y is not so much, yeah. How many more buffs does Quincy need? Yeah, SMH. Quincy can't even beat round 200 f pads. I am disappointed. By all accounts, Mad should be shooting out permanent Mad Missiles. Yes. They're not very fast, though. Let's help it out. One. Two. I like how the, the lifespan of the plasma isn't long enough. Although, I think it's just visual, right? Yeah, it's, it's just visual. You see the damage is working. Unsurprisingly, it's good enough against Rather 300 Bad. Oh, don't forget too, yeah, the, with the uh, MK ability, the Gorgon Storm stuns, uh, so you can even keep them in place. Also, yes, I'm in Sandbox, and we still haven't bought Leader Shock. This is so that I don't pick up bad habits, obviously. Unfortunately, that's all the damage we can do. Alright, time to see Oban. So, yes, you can get Oban to work on Brambles and Wall Trees. I think Brambles is better. Just because uh, Wall Trees doesn't work on BFB as an above, I think. We should see Oban go ham here, yep. A Malam on ham, but enough to make his own core Wraith. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's actually make it go crazy. Spam Brambles, we even do a... Let's do a Tier 4 Elite Dread Bloon here. Nothing gets past his Brambles. Uh, I'm trying I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wait for Dread Bloon to get in the sweet spot. But for now, that's some pretty good damage. Yep, yep, it, it, it's getting there, it's getting there. Oban is a new Spike Factory at home, and he does it better. Yep, we just beat Tier 4 Elite, and uh, it barely even touched, like, 90% of the spikes. Don't mind me trying round 300. Yep, it beats round 300. I want to see some wall trees here. There we go. Unfortunately, I think he's, he only spawned one of them at once. That's still good, though, right? It's still gobbling up uh, mobs around 300. Actually, no, it's not. Sorry. It's not, no, it's the Brambles that's actually doing damage. I think the the army is too high around 300. That wall trees can't even eat it up. It's useless. So it's no surprise that this bug also works on the Mopex. Which means, yes, you can basically get uh, infinite hexes. Let's try 10 spacing, 9, 9, 9 bads. Let's see, yeah, yeah, there's multiple hexes. Yep, it, it, it's jumping. Slowly but surely. Her cats are climbing the ladder. And again, Fan Club should make it go even faster, right? Yep, all the way back to the entrance. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Let's 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 change the one spacing now. One spacing. Round 300, okay. How fast can his elite keep up? Uh, One Fabo can't keep up with one spacing, but how about both in combination? Yep. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is where she can break the real game. I think I can try up to around 1,000, or around 999. I'm wrong, because they're they're too fast. If they're too fast, then Azili won't kill them in time. Let's see. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Oh, they're leaking. By the way, uh, can anyone count? That's 165... No, it's going higher. 180... 190... 230 million. 1 billion DPS. Unfortunately, she is not strong enough to... Uh, Beat them in time. Let's see now if this this bug works on totems. Wizard Phoenix, and yep. Totem works, but it doesn't make it any stronger, obviously. Because it's only one. Oh my god, I did not... I should not have done that. That is too many totems. Uh, uh. Alright, don't mind me. I'm just making a bubble bath for these... The, the monkeys here. What has BT6 come to? I'm not trying to extinguish a fire with hypersonic foam. It is not working, though. I think funny things happen when you... Uh, Door Gunner, a sentry. Watch this. 
One. Two. And watch what happens here. You can draw with the Heli Pilot. Now, I don't think the Wizard Phoenix is part of this. Like, you can get rid of it and it still works. But yeah, ain't that pretty neat. Neat and satisfying. Here you can see the Century slowly expire with the speed that I wrote them in. Alright, I have a message for everybody. Uh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, there is no message here. Alright, please listen to this very important message, everybody. I need to learn cursive writing. You guys get the point, I think. This is harder than it looks. Alright, now let's turn into a 12-year-old. I won't get demonetized for this, right? You guys didn't see anything. You guys saw nothing. This is what I think about this glitch in the game right now. My thoughts. Now, this is one of the early discoveries, and a lot of you probably already know this by now, but in case you don't, and since I haven't showcased this on this channel yet, then let me show you. What can you do? So, to my knowledge, you can't increase the power of the Paragon, but what we can do is uh, when you upgrade any linked monkey to the Paragon, you can refresh it, or rather remake the Paragon with its new degree. So watch this for example, I'm gonna get a lot of pops on the Wizard Paragon. Also, I can't tell if this is a part of the bug, but I don't have a, a Dark Phoenix with this wizard. <laughs> Weird. Well, anyways, 2 million? Watch as I refresh it. And now the degree will be updated to 22. So yes, that means the Magus takes into account its own pop count when it refreshes the ability again. In case you're wondering, yes. Getting other tier 5s, getting the 100 upgrade slash money spent will also count towards the degree of the Paragon. So let's try to wait for the Magus to get max requirement, 16.2 million pops please. And now I'll transform it to a max single player Paragon, which should be 76, however... It's 79. Now, I'm pretty sure the reason why it's above the single player max is because, uh, like, it counts as its own tier 5. Because 79 is the degree you'd have if you, you know, did Dark Monkeys because you can get an extra Crossmaster. Master. So yeah, pretty neat trick. Also, what's funny is that you can actually downgrade the Paragon because uh, I'm going to remake it to 69. It's downgraded because there's no other tier 5s on the screen. Or those other Arcane Spikes. And yep, just to double check myself, the Phoenix is still there, but when I upgrade it, it is gone. And now one last funny thing about this bug, courtesy of Reddit, is that, yes, you can sell bosses with a new bug. It was hard for me to get it to work, so I'll just show you the video. Basically, I would assume, is that you spawn out the boss right after the transformation ability ends. And so, there's a chance you could get lucky, and it links to it, sell the original Dark Monkey, and voila, you can now insta-kill bosses. Ranked bosses hate this one simple trick. Again, don't try it in competitive game modes. And with that, I think that is most, if not all, of the new discoveries of this bug so far. But once again, if there is even more discoveries to be made, then stay tuned for possibly another showcase of it. I would be surprised, uh, because I swear you can do almost anything with this bug with the knowledge we know. Anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching.